Hi folks, thanks for stopping by. We've got a train and ferry combo today that'll take us all the way from Edinburgh up to the Shetland Islands. And Edinburgh Waverley this morning, that's the train arrived, got my coffee and we're off to Aberdeen and then on to Lerwick. Welcome to Aberdeen. There's a weather warning in place for the ferry tonight, so the ferry warned us to be ready for something special. If you think you can just about afford it, I really recommend getting a cabin. I know it's a bit of an indulgence, but it makes such a difference on the crossing. Loads of room here, lots of storage room for all your kit, um, and that's the stuff that you don't want to have to read. And then moving on around the cabin, you've got a little table here with a kettle. Obviously great if you want to make something like noodles or something like that, but you've also got tea and coffee there. Couple of sockets here with USBs, again super handy for charging all your kit and there's a further socket up on the shelf as well. I've got an outside cabin this evening so I've got the luxury of being able to see absolutely nothing out the window. Here we've got little lights at each of the beds, you've got control for the main cabin lights and volume control here, that's quite important because the crew make quite a lot of announcements, especially in the morning so if you want a long lie I would suggest putting that down quite low. Sick bags, uh, probably need those tonight. And we've got a thermostat, it's great to be able to control the heat in the cabin. And this warning is very relevant for this evening. Not only does the Northlink give you the comfiest beds on the high seas, but we've also got a little shower room here. So you've got a really good fully functioning shower, might be the smallest one you've ever seen in your life, but it certainly does the job. And around the rest of the bathroom, you've of course got your sink, you've got a hair dryer, and best of all, all the toiletries or the shower gels and hand gels are supplied by the Shetland Soap Company. This stuff is really good. Moving on outside the cabins, we're now going to do a little bit of a ship tour over these Vegas carpets. We're on deck five. This is the deck where you'll come on board the ship, and it's also where all the cabins are. Everything else is on deck six up the stairs. There's a couple of ships in this fleet. Uh, this is the Rossi tonight. There's also the sister ship. I can't remember the name, but they're both laid out pretty much the same. Moving on upstairs now to deck number six. And apart from the cabins down in deck five, this is where you'll find everything else on deck six. At the back, you've got the restaurant and the bar area. What we'll do now though, is move up towards the front of the ship just past the little shop there. That's really well stocked with snacks and drinks and little gifts you can get on board. So it's open till about 10 p.m. Moving further forward still, this is where your area will be if you're a foot passenger. These seats are free for anyone to use when they're bored. They're pretty good, lots of leg room, and it's a good recline on them as well. And you've got a little table, so it's kind of like an aircraft seat that you've got here. 
to the right of the seating area you've got a little arcade space there and then we're moving forward to the lounge at the very front of the ship. This is as far forward as you can go. Up here you'll find a really quiet area actually, especially off peak joy just now. During the summer that bar will be open and it will obviously be a lot busier. But for now, at the front of the ship, it's very quiet, although there's going to be a lot of movement tonight, especially with the stormy seas. It's also got the cinema up here as well, and this is where you'll find the pods. These are like the business class seats, which are £18 each way to upgrade to. Here we are now at the aft of the upper deck and this is where you'll find the liveliest part of the ship. We've got the bar just into the left hand side here. Beers are really cheap, they're about £3.90 I paid for a beer and they've also got Sky Sports. This is the lounge area, I didn't use this at all, I think you can upgrade to it. I'm not sure how much this costs but it's certainly not something that I needed. Moving aft now towards the rear of the ship, this is as far back as you can go on deck number 6 and this is where you'll find the restaurant, there's a kids area and access to the outer decks as well. Sure we're on a ferry here but you don't have to be nervous about using the restaurant. I've always found that the food is really good, the price is pretty exceptional for on board a ferry and the service is always great. Also at the back here, you can use this area just to sit about and relax. You don't have to be a paying customer at the restaurant to use this space. Right at the back in the corner here, this is where you've got access to the outdoor decks through these double doors. As you go through the first one, that's the car deck down to the left hand side. And then the second door here takes you right outside. On tonight's sail, and this was the only deck that was open to passengers, Normally there's another bigger deck up the stairs, but this was the only one, possibly because it was winter, possibly because it was quite stormy. And from the back here, obviously you've got a view of Aberdeen Harbour, which is, as I say there, a busy working harbour. And you can see Union Square just across in the background there. That's pretty much where the train arrived. Why is it I can't resist fish and chips every time?
it's getting a little bit challenging now. Welcome to Shetland. Well, that was a rough night in every single way. Maybe three or four hours sleep at the most and just felt sick all night. But we're here in Shetland. I'll pick up a car, have a scoot about, and we'll be back on this tonight at 7pm.